All right, so different types of terrestrial, which means land ecosystems, is what we're going to study today. And we're watching a video on study jams about the terrestrial ecosystems. <laughs> RJ sending me pics from the zoo. Check this guy out. Aw, a rhinoceros. I love rhinos. Why can't they live here? Because a rhino's natural habitat is in grasslands, like the savannas of Africa. That's a completely different biome than where we live. Yeah, I guess it is a lot different than here. But, uh, what exactly is a biome, anyway? Let me show you. I bet I can get online and find some pics that really illustrate the beauty of each biome. Rock on! Let's do it! So a biome is a major ecosystem made up of many different habitats. There are six different biomes found on planet Earth. Are all six biomes totally different? Yes. The six biomes are taiga, tundra, deciduous forest, tropical rainforest, desert, and grassland. The main difference between each one is its climate, the unique temperature and precipitation found there. We live in the biome known as a deciduous forest. So what makes this deciduous forest so special? A deciduous forest is the only biome with four seasons. The only one? Yep. Spring, summer, winter, and fall. Trees here bloom in spring and lose their leaves in the fall. Animals like foxes, bobcats, and songbirds all live in different habitats throughout the deciduous forest. Enough about this place. Tell me about somewhere warm and exotic. <laughs> Bright flowers and exotic animals like leopards, toucans, and monkeys are found in the tropical rainforest biome. The rainforest's climate is warm and humid year-round, and heavy rains help keep it lush and green. That's my fave, the tropical rainforest biome. Not so fast. There are four more. The taiga is the largest biome of all. It stretches across most of Canada, parts of Europe, and Asia. Its climate has two seasons, cold winters and warm summers. You'll find habitats for moose, Canadian geese, other migrating birds, and even the bald eagle here. Ooh, bald eagles are rare. Even farther north is the tundra. Its climate is so cold and frozen that no trees can grow. Instead, there are dwarf-like flowers and plants that only bloom for eight weeks a year. This is where polar bears, reindeer, and caribou live. I always wondered where reindeer came from. Now, let's heat things up and head to the desert. The desert? That's hot. It is hot, and its climate is very dry. Deserts receive less than 10 inches of rain all year. Prickly plants like cacti that can store water live here, along with iguanas, lizards, beetles, and jackals. That's five. One more biome to go. Last but not least is the home of the rhino, the grassland. Isn't a lot of the United States grassland? Yes, but Africa, Asia, and South America have grasslands, too. Grains like corn, wheat, and barley grow here, making a good home for animals that graze, like gazelles, zebras, and our friend, the rhino. But they're not alone. Hunters like lions, tigers, and hyenas lurk in the grasslands, too. The grassland is one wild biome. That's all six. Still sticking to your favorite firm before? Let me think. There are six biomes found on Earth, and they all have different climates. Every biome has its own unique plant and animal life and is home to many different habitats. So which is your favorite? Taiga, tundra, deciduous forest, tropical rainforest, desert, or grassland? I can't pick a favorite. All six biomes are pretty sweet. Miss Adequoia, you're muted. Thank you. Thank you very much for letting me know. All right, so this is information for our flipbook. 
If you don't have your flip book with you, go ahead and grab a sheet of paper, write biomes on the one side and then information on the other. So the tundra, remember the tundra doesn't have any, doesn't grow um, any trees. Instead, you have dwarf plants. So dwarf plants are short plants that only bloom or stay around for eight weeks. Animals that you can find at the tundra will be polar bears, reindeer. All right, and the next biome is taiga. We can find the taiga in Canada, Europe, and Asia. The taiga has just two seasons, cold winters and warm summers. For animals, you can find moose and geese. Next biome that we're going to look at is the deciduous rainforest, our biome. And the reason we say it's our biome is because right here in North Carolina, we are in the deciduous forest. So what do we notice? We notice that there are yearly cycles of plant growth. We know that in springtime, the plants bloom. You see the flowers blooming. And in fall, the leaves actually fall, right? What kind of animals do we see here around us? We see foxes, squirrels, raccoons. All right, so when you're thinking deciduous forest, or you're thinking North Carolina, where we are right now, it is in the deciduous forest. All right, here is the rainforest, all right? At the top of the rainforest, at the very top, there's a lot of sun. And then at the ground, around the ground or the floor, the forest floor, there is less sun there, okay? So there's more sun at the top. And the rainforest is usually so thick that um, it's hard for light to sleep, sip through. That's the reason that there's less sun. Rainforest, so 7% of the earth is the rainforest. 50%, half of all the species found on earth can be found in the rainforest. And why is that? Wherever there are more plants, um, you have more animals. Wherever there's a lot of food, a lot of animals will be found there. The rainforest has a lot of rain. And remember that plants need sunlight air and um and water rain to grow so because it has so much rain um there's a lot of plants growing there if you look at the word rainforest and you do a word search you can see the word rain in it that tells you so much rain all right the rainforest is warm and humid there are heavy rains animals that you would find in the rainforest would include toucans monkeys
The next biome that we're gonna look at is the grassland. The grassland in Africa is called the savanna. You can also find the grassland in Asia and South America. There's a lot of rain, but there's also drought. So drought is a period where there is no rain at all. Now right here where it says no drought, when there's no drought, you have more rain. And when there's more rain, you have more trees. The kind of plants that you would find in the savanna or grassland would be corn, wheat, barley. Animals that you would find in the US would be prairie dogs and buffaloes. In Africa, you would find rhinoceros and zebra. Desert. The desert is usually dry. It gets less than 10 inches of rain each year. So the word per means each, each year. Deserts are really hot during the day, but they get super cold at night. The kind of animals you would find in a desert would be iguanas, lizards, jackals. For plants, you'll find cacti. So the plural of cactus is cacti. Cactus for one, cacti for more than one. All right, and now I'm going to stop sharing that tab. And that concludes our lesson for terrestrial ecosystems. Mm -hmm.